Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Thursday update for April the 20th. High pressure is the main driving force of our weather across New Zealand and Australia and even into parts of the tropics at the moment. Although there is a low pressure zone up here, uh, which is stretching out more towards the Cook Islands. So Rarotonga, you've got some windy, wet, humid weather to go for another day or so, then it does start to improve. But the two main features, high number one out here to the east of New Zealand, that's why it's so warm, it's bringing down this uh, northerly airflow, northeasterlies out of the subtropics for some areas. And if you're not getting that, it's just a mild uh, northerly flow. And then the other feature is this big high, which is about to move in and also encourage a southerly for New Zealand. Uh, the southerly they've got in Aussie at the moment is nothing too uh, major. So let's try and make sense of what is going on. We'll kick off with the rainfall because we've got some rain moving in on the back of that first big high. And so it's mostly falling around Farewell Spit, Antarctica. Your rainfall totals could be getting between 80 and 120 millimetres or so, or even more for some of the hilltops there. But it is really going through Cook Strait, the bulk of this rain. So it clips the lower portion of um, Wellington and Kapiti Coast. It also affects some of the Marlborough Sounds and down a little bit on the west coast. But it's mostly Nelson, Tarkaka area. Up around Mount Taranaki, you're only talking about 40 millimetres or so, maybe a little more if it stalls. So this is the main area, there could be a few slips on the highways there, it doesn't take much around Nelson, Antarctica to cause road problems, so just be aware there could be a few issues to do with that rain moving through. Dry weather, head down to Otago and uh, Northern Southland, those look like the driest places to be, for now anyway. So here we are on Friday, most of the country is warmer than average again, just like today, Thursday and tonight and going into Friday, warmer than average. However, uh, despite the subtropical flow moving through, it's not really going to be so noticeable in Canterbury, maybe overnight, but not during the day. Daytime high tomorrow is well down in Christchurch, thick cloud and maybe some spits of rain. Um, you have to take a look at your local forecast to see what the latest is. It's been moving around a little bit. So that's moving through as well as that heavier rain that comes in a bit later on. Over in Australia, that next big high encouraging southeasterly winds. You've got them for a number of days ahead and showers in the mix there. And here is that stormy low pressure zone up around uh, Rarotonga. But as you can see, as we go through into Saturday, it moves further away from the Cook Islands and out to sea. So over in New Zealand, we're stuck between two highs here on Saturday. The first one's slowly moving away, but still driving in this mild airflow. Uh, but it'll be cloudier with patchy rain and showers and maybe even an isolated thunderstorm or downpour. Then this high continues to move closer towards us. So by Sunday, you'll start to feel the windier westerlies building in the south, and that's ahead of the next cold front. So let's take a look at Monday, because that's when it comes in. So this is more normal for what we get in April. We have not been seeing enough of these cold blasts. This is a lot more what we would be expecting at this time of the year. So in comes the southerly, it goes all the way to the top of the country by the end of the day. Overnight lows in the north will drop from being around 17 and 18 to down around 10s and 11s. And those in the South Island have been having daytime highs of 17, places like Canterbury and further down uh, the coastline towards Otago, those temperatures really drop on Monday. Daytime highs between 9 and 12 degrees in a number of places on Monday, so well down on where you've been over the last week or so. And that cold change lingers on to, into Tuesday, but further up into the North Island, mostly on the eastern side, it's being bulldozed away by high number two coming in from Australia. So this big bulldozer pushes it out to sea, Wet, windy westerlies come back into the south here, that warms things up a little bit from where you were. But the windy easterlies with all these showers carries on north of Sydney, north of Brisbane, north of Cairns. It's the whole eastern coastline really, only this dry bit just south of Sydney um, that is you know, protected really because of the airflow changing around there. And there's a colder southerly also for Western Australia. So the middle of next week, you'll start to see a southerly slowly moving along towards Adelaide, but you'll have a warm northerly to begin with. And on the New Zealand side, another sort of cooler day as the southwest flow comes back in across the country. So next week will be cooler in New Zealand, especially in the South Island, uh, but you will feel it everywhere. It will certainly be back to where we should be for this time of the year. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow Friday with our final update for this week. We'll catch you then.